This is Missionary Evangelist Tony Abram with a very late night for me story before me us going uh, to bed after our devotions. I'm Missionary uh, Evangelist Tony Abram, and uh, I want to tell you a short story about the cruise of oil. You remember in Elijah in the Bible how that God provided uh, for the uh, widow lady and her son and for the prophet. Well, could that happen today? Well, let me take you back to 1969 to this city of Santiago, Chile, South America, where Marge and I were working with uh, Jose Minet, who was the overseer or superintendent of the country of Chile, and we were staying in their home. And it was interesting staying. We had wonderful fellowship. But there was, I remember, only one bathroom, and they had 11 children. And I think uh, nine of them were girls. So it was very difficult at times to get to the uh, washroom, to have a shower and so forth. But what a time of fellowship we had with them, God blessing. But it was a time where things were scarce. And I know at one period of time, we spent about a month or six weeks while we were ministering in crusades in the area of Santiago, Chile. and um, But something happened. There came a shortage of cooking oil. And what to do? Well, they claimed the, the promises of God, and they had this one tin or can of oil, cooking oil, and they tried to use a scarcity very sparingly, and then uh, it never ran out. Matter of fact, the whole time that it was impossible or to find uh, cooking oil in the markets, they they were using it and even loaning oil to the neighbors. It was a miracle of God. God provided... And when oil, it must have been a month that they were doing this, and this little can of oil always had enough cooking oil for them and for their neighbors that they shared with. And my friends, when oil appeared in the market, guess what? The can went dry. All just like Bible days. So can things that happen in the Bible happen today? Yes. And then there's one other testimony, if I could just add this, uh, the, sh- the sugar. This happened with in Nuneaton, England. And we were with our friends, I'm trying to remember their name, Lloyd. the Lloyds, Pastor Lloyd. And uh, that's where the uh, miracle we told you, I think, one time, where God did a creative miracle of an eyeball uh, that uh, the woman went, uh, was healed. But that's another story. Don't let me get into that. I want to tell you about the sugar. And this was shortly after the war where they had still ration, rationing. And the little cup of sugar did not run dry until, guess what? It was free on the market again. Our God. Well, what does the Bible say? My God shall supply all all our needs according his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Is there something lacking in your life? Many times we look to man when we need to look to God. So I leave you, when I pray in just a few moments, I like to leave you with this thought that with God all things are possible. And that is how Marge and I, and it's going to be 59 years here this week, if you're seeing, seeing this live or later on on YouTube, but later this week, on the 20th of November, my dear wife and I have been married 59 years, traveling and o- preaching and winning souls in over a 100 countries around the world, and what a joy it has been. And we still love telling people about the Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh, well, friends, I want to say to you, if you have a need today, our God is able to meet your need. 
Why don't you look to him? Now, if you are not a child of God, that makes it a little difficult. But if you're a child of God, you can claim those blessings. And when you say, how can I be a child of God? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can call upon Jesus and receive him. If you believe on him, believe on his name, you can receive him and be saved. And he doesn't turn anyone away. You know what Jesus said one day? Him that comes to me, I shall no wise cast out. And he's longing to come into your heart and life and to supply your needs. He knows what you have before you even do. He he says, look at the birds of the air. Look at Look at the fields, how they don't have to work, and yet God supplies their need. God is going to supply your need. Are you looking to him? Heavenly Father, first of all, for those who are calling on the name of Jesus, come into their hearts and lives and give them the joy that comes from knowing Jesus as Savior, Lord, and Master. And then, Lord, if there's any that are lacking. Lord, no matter what it is, maybe it's not a cruise of oil, maybe it's not tea, but I mean, uh, sugar, Lord. Uh, It might be something else, uh, but God, you can supply every need. So I pray for every one of my brothers and sisters as they look to you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Remember, friends, The things that are impossible with men are possible with God. And remember, God loves you. Tony and Ab, Tony and Marge Abram, we love you, but God loves you more.